Former Angels closer Troy Percival leading his alma mater into Game 2 versus the Titans. Bottom of the second, Titans putting some pressure on the defense. Jared Bravo lays down the bunt. Highlanders can't make the play at first. That's going to allow Bravo to get in the scoring position and also allows the first Titans run to score. A couple batters later, Jake Pavlicic at the dish. Delivers an RBI single to left. That's going to score Bravo, doubling the Titans' lead. Pavlicic giving the Titans' dugout the thumbs up, so you know he likes it. Bottom of the fifth, after the intentional walk to Tanner Pinkston, Dalton Blazer makes Riverside pick up the check. Delivering a single to center field. That's going to make it 3-0. Blazer moves to second on the throw to third. Keeping the rally going. Next batter, Bravo. Making things happen again with the line drive to center field. That's going to play two more tight in runs. Making it 5-0. You say well done. I say bravo. Top of the sixth. Highlanders have a man on third. When John Gavin delivers a wild pitch. That's going to allow Riverside to get on the board. Making it 5-1. But they would get the run back in the bottom half. Josh Vargas finds a hole on the right side of the infield. That's going to be an RBI single driving in Tyler Steep from second. Putting the Titans up 6-1. But the Highlanders would threaten in the top of the seventh. Bases loaded. Ground ball to Tanner Pinkston trying to turn two. Only can get one as UCR cuts the lead to four. Top of the ninth, Dylan Prohorov pitching. Gets the last Highlander batter to fly out to Josh Vargas in left field. And that's going to seal the victory for the Titans. They go on to win, improving to 29 and 16 overall. My approach was just, uh, just hit the ball hard, see ball, hit ball. I mean, that's Hookie's motto. I mean, you know, you don't want to do too much at the plate. So I'm just sticking to a simple approach and it's been working out lately. Yesterday, you had your career high four hit game. Backed it up today with two more hits, scored two runs, drove in a run. How you doing it, man? I'm calling you the hit parade now. <laughs> you know, I'm just having fun, man. Uh, in the dugout, we're having a blast. I mean, it's always a blast when you're scoring runs, you know what I mean? And that's what I, I, that's what I can say. We're just keeping it loose. We're having fun. You know, like, like I said yesterday, you know, we took that to heart on Tuesday. You know, we kind of gave away a game. And I um, just wanted to get back to it. I wanted to get back to having fun and get back to running quality, quality ABs for each other. And that's pretty much what's going on. Is we're just running quality AB after quality AB, and it's, and it's coming out for us. Our defense is great. I mean, uh, we all work together. It seems like it doesn't matter if we have a different shortstop, third baseman. We all seem to like click together. Um, I mean, when the ball's hit, we just roll them and we just try to back our pitcher up the best way we can. An all-around team victory today for the Titans as they win 6-2, to two, taking game two versus the Highlanders of UCR. The Titans will be back at it tomorrow here at Goodwin Field at 1 p.m., looking to give all those Titan moms a very special Mother's Day present. Reporting from Goodwin Field, Joel Valdez, Titan Sports Recap.